And thank you for joining us for 25 News Now at 10. I'm Don Brubaker. The Omicron variant is causing concern around the world, and today it hit closer to home. Hospitals in our area are taking steps to stay prepared. 25 News Now reporter Christian Delgado has more. With the first confirmed case of the Omicron variant now in the United States, regional hospitals are preparing for another fight against COVID-19. As doctors and scientists around the world continue to research this new threat, local health experts advise everyone to continue the same safety measures we've had since the pandemic began. You know, right now, as far as preparation goes, what we're advising, we're gonna, it's going to be a lot of the same. Anytime just when Delta comes up or a new variant comes up, we're going to really push folks to get vaccinated, first of all. Um, take those similar protective measures that we have throughout the pandemic. Um, so, so distancing, you know, wearing facial coverings in, in areas. So those are really the key measures that you can take and the same preventatives now. The CDC says despite the detection of Omicron, the Delta variant remains the predominant strain in the United States. The recent emergence of Omicron emphasizes the importance of vaccinations and boosters to protect against COVID-19. Hospitals have seen a difference in the severity of cases as more people are getting vaccinated. Keep hearing vaccine, 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 but we have seen it firsthand in the hospital, especially with these variant uh, surges, that the vaccine just, you really see a difference in, in the severity of the cases in the vaccinated versus the un unvaccinated. DTAR Hospital released a statement saying the hospital will stay prepared for all types of diseases. And the hospital says vaccination remains the best strategy for preventing COVID-19. Everyone 18 years and older is now eligible for the vaccine booster. Christian Delgado, KAVU-TV, 25 News Now.